vendor's office. Uh, we have Tuesday at 10.30 or Wednesday at 10.30. Wow, Kitty Marcus. How long has it been? Probably 12 years. Can you believe high school was that long ago? I remember you were homecoming queen two years in a row. I had the biggest crush on you. But you know, I was in a chess club back then. I was just a dork. And you just moved out here? Yeah. I own my own software company in New York, and it's doing so well I thought it opened one up out here also. Wow, that's great. We'll have to talk after the exam. Dr. Bender will be with you in just a moment. Uh, listen, uh, it's almost lunchtime, and I, uh, I know there's a cafeteria downstairs. Would you like to have lunch with me? I can do that. Great. Hello, Mr. Carlisle. I'm Dr. Bender. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'll see you later, Kitty. Oh, Catherine, she's doing her internship with me. She's going to be sitting in on this consultation. Now, what's wrong with your penis? I thought you were a receptionist, Kitty. I don't see anything here in your history. Tell me what's wrong with your penis. You should really wear a badge, Kitty. Oh, I guess it fell off. You don't have to be embarrassed. I've been a urologist for 16 years. I've seen it all. Actually, it's, it's not, I think your files are wrong, it's not my penis. I'm so embarrassed to say it, but it's my elbow. I'm so embarrassed. That's psoriasis. I'm a urologist. Come on, Mr. Carlisle. I can't help you if you don't tell me the problem. Well, there's no problem. Uh, as a matter of fact, I came in to tell you that this penis is working out great. Great penis. And it's just working out well. You came all the way from Orange County to tell me that? You know, you have nothing to be embarrassed of. I'm not embarrassed, okay? Let's make that clear, okay? Yes, it's my penis, okay? I said it. Okay, then why don't you take off your pants? Why don't we talk about this for a while? You know, uh, maybe if we talk about it, it makes all things better. I can't help you if I can't see it. I'll tell you what I can do. Uh, I got a camera in my car, I can take pictures. There's a one hour photo, they do good work. Dr. Bender, obviously he's embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed. Then Mr. Carlisle, take off your pants. Okay. See the problem? I need a little more time, Mr. Carlisle. Down, Mr. Carlisle. So, okay. How's it going? Gotta wear that badge. Kitty, I'm gonna need some coffee. From Brazil. Can you get that for me now? Oh, this is not a problem, Mr. Carlisle. Okay, you see these red splotchy marks here? Uh-huh. You sure? Look closer. Mm -hmm. Closer. She can see it. Mr. Carlisle, have you been touching yourself down there lately? What? It's not, that's funny. Pretty red. Looks like you really went to town on it. Once in a while. I don't know, those bumps look fresh. Looks like you really put it to the test. What are you, Sherlock Holmes? Once in a while, is that so wrong? Is that so bad? Well, it looks like you really put it through a workout. It's not a competition, you know. Okay, I suggest you leave it alone for a few days. Leave the horse in the stable. It's a little chafed. I do this very rarely, Kitty. I mean, I, I'm not a freak or something. I mean, I, I you know, I, I go out on dates, you know, I, I, I don't, I go out on dates, you know, I, I, I don't, I don't have to do this. I do it by choice. I like you to write that down in your files. I do it by choice. I like you oh, to write that down. Does it is by choice. Sure. Okay, now I'm prescribing you some hydrocortisone cream, some gauze, and a splint. Have a good day, Mr. Carlisle. So, oh, Kitty, still up for lunch? Doctor, doctor, give me the news. I've got it.